You're listening to Embrace Your Snake, the number one podcast for creators and entrepreneurs that have big ideas and just need a little help to get them out into the world. I'm your host, Michael Jackson, and today we're talking about New Year's resolution ideas. See, at the beginning of every new year, all of us come up with new things we want to do, to talk about things we want to achieve, eh, and a whole lot more. So let's talk about how many of those things actually get done and what we could do so that some of them actually get done, or maybe even just one of them actually gets done. Let's talk about New Year's resolutions ideas. So I'm recording this because it's a brand new year and everybody usually at the beginning of the year comes up with their new year's resolutions. And we're going to talk about new year's resolutions, ideas today, things that you could actually do. How many of them did you say you were going to do last year? And then how many are you going to actually do this year? And then maybe, maybe we'll come up with an idea that'll help you get, you know, maybe one or more or all of them done. Let's, let's, let's think about it for just a minute. So what are some things that you could come up with for 2020 in this case? And by the way, if you're listening to this in another year, the same list probably applies and it probably has applied in the past and it'll probably apply way into the future too, because we all do the same thing every year. We make these resolutions and most of us, including myself, we don't keep them all. So uh, maybe our first resolution really we ought to be to resolve to do our resolutions, but we'll get to that. So what could you do? Hmm. You could start meditating. I think that's probably a good one. You know, there's different techniques that you could do. You could start your day. Everyone knows that that starting with the mmm and thinking to yourself is a good thing. Om. I love that. It feels good. It vibrates your whole body. You relax. And everyone knows that first thing in the morning, you should not pick up the cell phone. You should not be checking your email. You might wake up. You're still in that nice deep state of, I believe it's theta um, brain waves, and you can make yourself uh, learn a lot while you're still in that theta state. So meditation is a good one. Um, you could say this year, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to learn something new every day. I'm going to pick up uh, the newspaper. I'm going to learn about this subject. I'm going to learn about that subject. You know, the internet makes it incredibly easy for us to do these things. So why not pick up a new, um, something new every day? You could start a hobby. Um, I started probably, it's been, you know, a couple months ago now, I started doing podcasting as a hobby because I want to help people. And that's going to be, that's my thing for uh, lat, end of last year and into 2020, 21, 22, hopefully 23. And we'll see how far it goes. Um, there's all kinds of things we could do. Now, one of mine that I've had since, I'm pretty sure since I was like four or five years old or six or seven is uh, I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat less. I'm going to lose weight and get in shape. That's, that's packed in there. At least three different things, eat less, lose weight, get in shape. That's three things that are packed into one of get more healthy, which is another one. You can always get going to the gym. Eating fewer calories is an amazing thing to do. If you can stick to it, um, for all the business people out there, you know, saying, I'm going to try and write a business plan or I'm going to find some mentors. Those are both two good things that you could do. And I suggest, huh, why not just try and do those two things? By the way, I would love to be the mentor for uh, somebody. And there's several people that I already um, am a co mini coach for. So if you need someone that you would like to bounce some ideas off of, I'm, I'm uh, good for that. By the way, travel is a big one that's on the list. Um, or even for everyone that says, I want to travel, uh, and you can't afford to do it right now. Why not do travel around your own city, your own County, your own state, and pretend you're a tourist and see what that's like. Because if you can't afford to travel, you can definitely afford to get out and learn your neighborhood. That's an easy thing to do. doesn't cost you anything. And that's an amazing, um, opportunity to learn about what's going on. What's another one? Reading more books. We can all definitely read more books. Uh, I read Sapiens last year. Amazing book. Um, it opened my eyes to all kinds of ways that can happen. So if you want to do um, something to expand your mind, I suggest reading. Uh, there's always, and this is, a, this is classic, why not just be grateful about things? Be grateful that you have air to breathe, clean air to breathe. 
you have clean water to breathe, be grateful that you have friends, be grateful for all these things in your world about you, right? That's another good, good thing. Um, there's always, you know, spend more time in nature, which goes really well with meditating. Go outside, take off your shoes, walk on the grass, um, feel the earth, start breathing in the clean air around you and see what it's like to just reconnect with nature. That's another good thing you could do. Um, so all these things that I've thrown out so far are amazing, amazing things that can happen. And I wonder why is it that we don't finish them every year? I think I think the answer is pretty self-evident. I think the reason is we don't know or believe in our minds, one, that we can do them, and or two, they're not close enough to us that they actually mean something. For example, I want to, I'm going to give an example. I, let's say I want to meditate. How important to it, to me, is it that I meditate every morning, that I wake up, hmm, I've been asleep for the last, for me, four hours, but for normal people, you know, five, six, seven, eight hours, and now I'm supposed to meditate first thing in the morning. I've got all these things on my mind. I've got to check my email. I've got to get to work. I want to fix my coffee. I need to brush my teeth, my hair. I got to get the dogs out. I got to do all this stuff. And the question is, how important is meditating to me, to my life, so that I get what it is that I want. And I will say this, I don't think meditating is going to become something that's interesting to you in your life, fulfilling in your life, until it becomes something that is a priority. If meditating isn't a priority, it won't become something that's part of your daily life. Let's look at another example, losing weight. If losing weight is not a priority, it will not become something that's important to you in your life and you will not do it. I won't do it. That guy over there won't do it. She won't do it. Nobody will do it if it's not important in your life. If there's not a reason that triggers it and says, I need to get this thing done. The same goes for losing weight. It's, you're going to stop drinking. You're going to spend more time with friends. You're going to start a hobby. All of these things that we promise ourselves are things that we want to do, but we haven't elevated to the, to the height of they're more important than X, Y, and Z in my life. So look, how do we do this? Here's what I'm going to suggest right away. And that is this. Take one thing, only one resolution. And in the case of maybe you're listening to this later in the year, one thing that is a goal, whether it's a business goal, a personal goal, a health goal, whatever that is, to the exclusion of all else. And as I've talked about in another episode a few weeks ago, I talked about making a decision. Tony Robbins says, when you make a decision, you cut off all other possibilities. Once you decide, you cut off any other possibility of anything else happening and getting in the way. I would say take your one goal and to the exclusion of all else, see if you can get it done. If that one goal, and by the way, if you listen to James Clear, he talks about doing uh, about atomic habits. And with atomic habits, basically, you start with one. You, you think of the goal that you want to do. You want to go running every day. Then you want to run a mile. Then you want to run five miles, then 10K. And then you want to run a marathon. It all starts with what? putting on your shoes in the morning, getting up and putting on your shoes. If you do nothing else but get up and put on your shoes, you have gotten one step to that goal of what? Getting out the door. What if all you did one day is put on your shoes and walk out the door? You are that much closer to whatever your goal is of running your 5K, 10K marathon because you got up and did that. Seriously, do that one thing. If you want to stop eating so many sweets, have your pie, have your cake, have your ice cream, leave just one bite. It sounds stupid, but next time leave two, then three, then a scoop. And then next time don't get two scoops, just get one. Start with little things and do that one focused thing that gets you to your goal of, in this case, eating less sugar. Okay? So my advice for the person who wants to accomplish a goal, who has a New Year's resolution in mind, is to do this. Step one, pick the thing you want to do. Decide that at step two, decide that's it. 
cut off all the other goals. Don't worry about them right now because they're probably going to get lost. Step three, start. Do one little thing. It doesn't matter what that thing is. Just do it. The next day, do it again. And when you've gotten to the point where that's a habit, add one more step to it. One little step and build that habit so that it becomes bigger and bigger until you get out the door if you're going to run, until you're eating less ice cream if you're a sugar addict like me, until you've written that entire business plan if you're trying to build a business. Do the one little thing that it takes to get to the next step and focus solely on that. Don't worry about everything else. You'll get it done, you'll make it to your goal, and you will have kept your New Year's resolution. I really think the key to keeping our promises to ourselves, our resolutions, our goals, is to focus on one goal, make sure that it happens, whatever it takes, decide on that goal, cut everything else out, and let that one goal be the focus of whatever it is you're trying to get to in your life at that moment. I'm Michael Jackson. Peace.